what you guys today we're taking a look at how you can access your files on any device from anywhere in the world using the Acer Store NAS. Now this is the Locker Store for Gen 2 AS6704T. Now this is a very affordable NAS that has plenty of upgradability to it and also has plenty of room for storage. You can see it has four bays on this which means you can put four drives into this and you can also add external drives to this as well uh, if you wanted to so as you can see it comes pretty well packaged i'm going to get this out and uh, i'll share how to set this up and what it looks like and we'll go through some of the features so this is everything you get inside the kit you get your quick start installation guide here and this is pretty straightforward stuff if you've never owned a nas before then you should get one they are essential bit of kit in 2022 and uh, you're going to get yourself uh, two cables here. These are two Ethernet cables. You're going to get your screws. These are to screw in your drives, whether it be three and a half inch or two and a half inch drives, different size screws here. And we have another screw with some sort of clip. I'm not sure what that is. And we also have our power brick, which is one has a UK power plug on here. Pretty long cable on this one and also a power adapter with the barrel connector on here as well. And you've got the kettle lead connector that goes into the power brick itself. So these are easily uh, interchangeable. If this broke, you could easily replace this um, by buying one online if you needed to. Now, looking at the unit itself, this is it right here. We'll take a closer look at this right now. So if you want to look at the actual specs here, let's go through the specs first. So you can see the CPU is an Intel Celeron N5105. It's a quad core processor in here 2 gigahertz boost up to 2.9 gigahertz does come with 4 gigabytes of ddr4 ram in here which is upgradable as well and uh, it does come with one stick in here with two uh, slots on there which goes up to 16 gigabytes if you want to upgrade that uh, to 16 gigabytes of ram flash memory is 8 gigabyte emmc uh, ram there flash ram also drive base of four Maximum drive bays with an expansion unit is 12. And we also have two USB ports on here, which are USB 3.2 Gen 2. There is a PCIe expansion slot on here, which supports 10 gigabit Ethernet card in there. And also we do have some other ports, which we're going to take a look at in this video. We have a nice big display here with uh, these buttons on the right hand side here, which are these are your navigation buttons, which means you can actually use it from here if you wanted to because it has such a big display we have four bays here and they are lockable and uh, they're very well built this you just push this little button here and it will clip this out and uh, basically pull the uh, drive caddy out here and you can put your drives in and you can see it does take three and a half inch and two and a half inch drives in here made of metal and plastic so it's pretty well built and uh, the build quality on this is pretty exceptional and uh, if you're looking for a very a good NAS drive that is going to do all of your backups and all of your Plex server and things like that, then something like this is going to be right up your street. So push this in and just clip it back down. I'll show you how to install these drives and get this set up a little bit later on. On the front here, we do also have our power button and LED light activity light for the hard drive here. And we also have down the bottom some LED lights here. These are just activity LED lights here. And we also have another uh, USB port on the front here, which you can use for storage or even, uh, you know, another backup solution for your uh, volume there. You can back up to it. On the bottom, we have this very sturdy feet on here and also metal plated bottom here. So we do have metal uh, design here on this unit. So it's not a cheap sort of build quality. It's a very good build quality we have some ventilation on the sides here and on the top and on the other side as well. So you get plenty of cold air uh, getting into this unit here to keep it cool. On the back, we also have now these red Ethernet ports here are 2.5 uh, gigabit Ethernet ports, which can be uh, linked as well. So if you can have five gigabit Ethernets on these, I believe. And uh, again, these are 2.5 each. So it's very good here. We also have another USB port on the bottom here. So if you want to add more storage or add something like that, you can do or some sort of backup solution to that. So you can back up your NAS to that. I've already made videos on there. We have a HDMI port on here as well. We have our input for our uh, power 
and our Kensington lock on the bottom here. Nice big fan here. The actual fan is uh, going to be giving you plenty of cooling inside here. Rating on this is 17.6 decibels for the noise level, and we have some sort of expansion bay here. It does allow you to put the M.2 drives in here as well. If you want to get access to these, you just un uh, do these three screws here and take a look inside and there'll be an area at the top and on the side which does allow you to uh, you know upgrade so take a look here we've got some screws i'm just going to put in two drives here so we can populate this and get it turned on and get it set up so pretty straightforward stuff if you've never owned a nas before uh, and you're wondering why you would need one you can host all of your uh, music on here all of your images you can back up your phone to here. You can share photos with your friends and family, uh, like some sort of um, gallery where you can show all your photos for your holiday to all your family and friends, access them anywhere around the world. Uh, movies, you can set up a Plex server on here, file sharing servers, anything like that you want to do. Backup solutions for all your computer and devices. So the drives here are Western Digital Red or uh, Seagate Red drives, IronWolf drives. I prefer the Seagate IronWolf. And uh, you can get whatever size drives you want. Uh, screw these in with four screws. And then you just slot them into the actual uh, drive bay here. And they just click into position. Just click it down. And there we go. And then we could just put the last one in. And then we could just power these on. So these are just held in, like I've said, with four screws here. And just screw these down and then push them in. And once you do this, you can actually uh, set it all up from the actual uh, device here. You don't need a monitor to do this. You can actually use the on-screen display if you wanted to. So power on the actual unit here, and it will start to boot up the device and get it all ready. What I advise you to do is actually use your computer, connect it to your uh, main network, and then you can access it. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But you can actually go through the menu system here and uh, act, do it all here. So it's going to ask us, do you want to erase all the data? If you wanted to do it from the device, you can actually uh, push enter here and do it from here or which I'll show you in a second, you can go over to the computer and do it all from an on-screen display and set it up there, which is very easy. It's a one-step uh, install for this lot. You can actually allow the Acetor to set it all up for you, give you the best recommended settings for the drives, whether that be RAID 1 or RAID 5, depending on how many drives you've got, and it will set up all these settings for you. So once you get to your computer, you can go to the Acetor control center and download the software whether it be for mac os or for windows download the software and get it installed on your pc if you want to uh, navigate through this method then this is probably the best method for you because it makes it more easy to understand so get this installed download the file unzip it and then install it onto the computer once that's done you will see something looking like this and because i've already partially set it up you can see it's already ready but what you can do here is make sure the firmware is updated first. So it's important to update all of the firmware. So if you don't see your uh, NAS on here, you can run a scan and it will detect your NAS uh, on the network. And if you've got it plugged into your local network, it should find it uh, no problem at all. And once it's found your device, you can then go up to the update center, which is I would advise you to update straight away because it's always best to get the latest firmware for your hardware which is your NAS because uh, it's just going to be security fixes, bug fixes and also all the latest um, applications and stuff like that that they've added. Now the default password and uh, user account details is admin and admin on this one so you just put those in and then you can basically go into here and type this in and click login and it will go off and it will start to get any sort of updates. Now you may find the uh, device uh, shut down a little bit and uh, restart and it will start building uh, for you and it should say something like this uh, completed and then click OK and we're all ready and we're set. So the setup we used was the Acetor uh, one click method where it does it all for you. It's very easy to do as you've seen here. I'm up and running already. You can see the device is ready, the status is ready and I'm ready to use the device itself. If you wanted to go through and set this all up yourself you can do, but with the one click setup, it will do it all for you and choose all the best recommended settings for your setup. So as you can see here, backup and restore, you've got all of your one touch backup. You've got your external backup, your internal backup, FTP backup, 
Uh, you've got all your stuff there that you're going to need. Now, probably the one you're going to be interested in is the App Center. Inside here, this is where we can download and install all of our apps for our NAS. You can see here there is a few top apps here. We have our photo gallery. If you want to have all your photos installed on here, you can do maybe a media server. You've got your Iron Wolf uh, health management. You've got your Docker engine. You've got your latest apps here. And there is just literally tons of apps on here which you can use on your NAS. So you can see the Embry server here. You've got your Cloud Backup Center, Cloud AV. You've also got a bunch of other stuff here like FileZilla and uh, some other useful stuff here as well if you wanted to use it for other things you can do. You don't just have to use this for one thing. This is where people get confused. You can actually use this as a virtual box uh, set up here and uh, there's other stuff on here as well. We also have the Acer Store uh, apps on here as well, which we can take a look at. There's literally heaps of these. And again, you don't have to use your NAS for just one thing. So for instance, if you want to use it for a Plex server, you can use it for a Plex server, and you can also have it as a photo gallery as well. And you can also use it for, say, for instance, surveillance center as well for all your uh, cameras and stuff like that around your home. So you can use it for multiple different things. You don't have to use it just for one thing. So you can access your files from any device anywhere in the world. You can back up uh, and have data redundancy set up here. And you can also build up your own streaming services like uh, Plex and things like that on your home NAS. You can do pretty much whatever you like. So whether you're a, a small business that wants a virtual machine set up or whether you just want uh, some, some somewhere to back and store up all your data, you can do. You can set up your 321 backup solutions uh, on here by having it backed up on your on your NAS and then having it back up to an external device and then having it backed up into the cloud as well. If you wanted to, you can set all that stuff up. It's a really essential bit of kit uh, for all storing all your photos and even backing all your mobile devices up to uh, the NAS drive as well. So you've got a backup on there as well as on your phone. So it's always nice to have. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. If you want to see some more videos on this, then let me know in the comments section below what you want to see. Maybe you want to see how to set it up and how to uh, do all that sort of stuff. Then let me know in the comments section. I'll be happy to make those videos for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.